All right, now let's make sure that we understand how you can get between an order diagram and a binary relation. So this is the same post that, that I drew before, and this is going to begin to answer your question a little bit more concretely. So look at the post set on the left, and let's see if we can write down what is the binary relation. That the binary relation is reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive that's associated with that drawing on the left. Now, if you do this one time, you will be convinced that for moderate-sized posets, you'd rather see the picture than write out the binary relation. But let's make sure that if we were forced by this big, bad old meanie to do this, that we could indeed do it. Okay, take your notes and see if you can write out the binary relation. Now, uh, just as a hint, your answer is going to look sort of like the exercise which is coming below it. Write out the set of ordered pairs that are associated with the post set that's shown. I'm going to give you a hint. You should write A comma A, B comma B, C comma C, etc. to start with. Why? That's just reinforcing the reflexive property. You've got to have all the pairs that are of the form X, X. And you've got A, B, C, D, E, and F. That's the easy part. Write those real quickly and now write the others. If I toggle the screen, can, can you guys see this screen over here? Uh, and you guys can see the screen over here, because what I want to do is I want to put, if, if just for a, a minute or two, I want to put one of these on dot cam and leave the other one on, on the slides. You know, so just tell me if you can't see this at all. Well, I, and never mind. All right, so are we all on the same page that in writing down the binary relation associated with this, you would start by putting in all the pairs like A, A, B, B, et cetera, up to F, F. I'm going to save a little space and not write the rest of them. But let's write some more. Question. Would I write AE? Yes or no? Yes. So I should write AE. Should I write CF? No, C is not less than F. All right, what are some of the other things I should write? Should I write AF? Yes, no. Yes. Should I write BD? Yes. Should I write BE? Yes, no? Yes, BE. Should I write B, F? Yes. What else should I write? B, C. Good. Anything else? D, E. Anything else? D, F. Anything else? A, C, anything else? E, F, do I, I not have it anywhere? No, I don't. E, F. Now do I have them all? 
I think so. I think so. I, I, I'm not 100% certain. And if, if I am being complete, I should do that. And, and is everybody with me? I, I didn't write the CC, the DD, and the EE here. OK. So I can go from the diagram to that listing. But you tell me, if you walked in the room and looked at this slide, what do you see? I, I don't know. But when I look at that post set, I can feel it. It's tall. It's not very wide. I, see, that's, you're beginning to gain some of the insights into what this looks like. I can tell something from that picture. I can't tell much from this description. Now, that might be much more useful for a computer. Might be more useful than the picture. Tell me who is less than whom. And in fact, if I'm going to specify a post set to a computer, I'm probably not going to use letters as elements. Just like in graphs, I'm going to use things like positive integers as the elements. And the, both the computer and we know the reflexive property. So you don't have to write that. But you have to write these things. Now, how would you write these and tell a computer about them? Just like we do with graphs. You would say, I'm Mr. Computer, I'm about to send you a data file. And on the first line of the data file will be an integer, and that will tell you the ground set. If that integer is 837, the elements, the points of the post set, are the integers from 1 to 837. And then on the other lines, I'm going to tell you who is less than whom. I'm going to write two numbers. I'll write them left to right. And the left to right order is important. When I write 63, 37, I'm saying in my post set, 63 is less than 37. Now the order on the line from left to right is important. When we specified a graph, it was not important. But when you're feeding the computer the data for a post set, the order that you list the two integers on a line is vital. <laughs>